On Eyewitness News, the legislative session is now over. Despite criticism over new taxes, the governor and Democrats are touting plenty of accomplishments, including a budget that closes a $3.7 billion deficit. But there is still plenty of unfinished business. Our chief capital reporter, Susan Rapp, is live in Hartford tonight with the developments for us. Susan? Denise, overall, Governor Lamont and Democrats seem pretty pleased about the legislative session and what they were able to accomplish over these past, past few months. But they will tell you that there are plenty of things that they still need to work out and make some tough decisions on. One of them is tolls. I was going to share with you my 10-point transportation plan this evening, <laughs> but uh, Andy suggested that may not be such a great idea. Right out of the gate in his speech to the General Assembly just after midnight, Governor Lamont lightened the tone a bit. His focus, what was accomplished? For getting a balanced budget on time. That is so important. Along with the budget, lawmakers also voted to raise the age to 21 for all tobacco and vaping products, extend the statute of limitations for sexual assault crimes, provide funding for job training, and maintain funding for cities and towns. In his post-session wrap-up, Governor Lamont said he was also pleased about plans for wind generation, but disappointed lawmakers couldn't pass legislation for affordable health care. But he remains laser-focused on transportation and what it could bring to Connecticut. What you want is good paying jobs, not just pay you good paying jobs at a place where your kids know they have a real opportunity there. And I know that you're not going to be able to do that um, unless we fix that transportation system. Bipartisan negotiations, bringing Len and Themis and Vinny into the room and Kevin Wickos. Um, don't, don't hold out hope that we can't get there somewhere. House Democrats say the budget agreement moves the state forward despite some new tax increases. And while Republicans favor borrowing for transportation, Democrats are optimistic they can still negotiate on tolls. At best, tolls are a 50-50 proposition in the state. And those that are working very hard to disrupt that are putting a lot of misinformation out there. Traditionally, Democrats and Republicans make themselves available for a post-session wrap-up, but Republicans chose to sit today out. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, what they had to say in a statement about this session and how many special sessions could there be. We are live in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.